here with Carolina Rossi, and Carolina is the Director of Business Development for Startup Chile. We are here in your fabulous space. Let's go for yes. a walk. Okay, so I'm going to show you the space and how this works. Okay, tell me so about welcome. your program. So Startup Chile is a program of the Chilean government. Right. We actually have uh, two years and a half. This is one of our office space. It's a co-working space open for everyone. We have entrepreneurs from 56 different nations. And we actually finance them with 40k no equity. We give them a visa, a work visa for a year. Uh, help, with, help them with the lending. Uh, provide them with bank account, visa. And, and of course, help them actually to connect with the Chilean culture and the Latin American entrepreneurial scene. Okay, so this is actually a house. We have four floors. We can go, we have, okay, so there's all the holes. Hi, here. how are y'all doing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Here we have different kind of entrepreneurs, right? From different countries. And all of them, they all are working their startups. They are from different industries. Okay, so they're all accelerating their startups. They look for a global market, but they can come from IT. But some of them are more social focused. Some of them are big companies. And some of them are looking for, hmm, depends, like biotech. We have a startup from biotech, from IT, from any kind of industry tree you can imagine. Okay. okay. So let's go this way. And what's the application process? Okay, so we have three application processes each year. In each application process, we select 100 startups. Okay. And we have more than a thousand applicants every single in every single application process. And we're expecting now to have even um, more than hopefully 2,000 for the next one that will open in June, at the end of June. Okay. okay. So we have had a um, startup from 17 nations applying to the program. Yeah. And let's just go up here. Yeah. Two one hundred working in another area. Yeah. Right? And this is another office space. So we have different kind of office space. So this is Vega is actually in charge of experience. So she's in charge Hi. of making I'm Alan Weinkrantz. Happy. Um, okay. I am here for Geek Fantasy Camp, and I also work in a collaborative workspace called Geekdom in San Antonio. So um, this is really amazing. Yeah, so, okay, they're actually fixing something in the office. So let's go down the road. I'm looking for in terms of curating companies from around the world, and um, what makes Chile special? Okay, so. First, I think Chile is very well positioned in Latin America um, since this May, actually May 2nd, you're going to be able to open a company here in one day and for free. So we're going to be the first country in the world that you can actually open a company for free and doesn't matter if you're foreign or Chilean. Okay. So that's actually a win-win for us as an ecosystem. Then second, we're really well connected. Uh, we have a really stable economy. So if you actually want to start a business in Chile, it's much easier to other Latin America countries. Right. And we have a lot of people with different foreigners that have actually done the same thing to you. So if anyone from the US or any part of the world would like to apply, the doors of a startup Chile are open for them to apply to the program and especially to come to Chile and start the business. Okay, here. and, and uh, what about for mentors? Um, I want to come down for a few days or for a week to mentor, how do you apply? Uh, if you want to mentor Startup Chile? Yeah. Okay, so we have an internal program that is called Startup Chile Highway, where you can actually connect with us, Startup Chile, and if you want to mentor our, our entrepreneurs, the doors are also open, and you just let us know, and that can easily be done. Okay. We're, we're always piloting and, and doing new things in terms of how to improve the acceleration process of our startups. So in that case, we're definitely open to new opportunities and especially meeting new people from all over the world that would like to come here. Okay, I also understand that you've, uh, you've also helped other countries around the world uh, see your model. So there is actually like a, a playbook of a sort of Chile, how to do a sort of Chile in your nation. Um, together with the Kalman Foundation, we actually build this book and, and today is available for a series of countries that are actually trying to do the same. A good example is the Startup Brazil. So Startup Brazil was launched at the end of, it now, of, of last year. Right. And even though it's different from a Startup Chile, the idea is kind of the same. Just try to um, bring foreigners, create an ecosystem, and try to improve the economy of your country through startups. And the URL for Startup Chile? 
at www.startupchile.org. So you're telling me that uh, this is a public policy initiative yes. by your government. Can you elaborate? Yeah, so Startup is a public policy because it looks to generate a social impact. That means like we're actually trying to make a change, a culture change in the country, right? Right. So if you see a road here, you see Santiago. Yeah. <laughs> so you, what we want to do is actually to turn from Chile into this innovation hub in Latin America. And what we need for that is actually have passionate entrepreneurs with new ideas to come to the country and communicate and, and motivate Chilean to become new entrepreneurs, right? So the transfer of knowledge is part of the public policy initiative that we have. So what we do is that every entrepreneur we actually finance with 40K, we tell them, okay, we're gonna finance with 40K, but you're gonna help us actually build this community and help us position Chile into this innovation hub we're building, right? How? Transmitting knowledge. How do you do that? Doing mentoring to local entrepreneurs, going to a university and, do, and work in a workshop, or do any activity that you can actually measure and it's actually impacting the country in a positive way. You know, I'm sitting here on your rooftop, very modern, yet in the background I see a, uh, a traditional church. Ah, uh, yes. And, and it really says a lot. I mean, just, just where we are makes a real big statement um, about the traditions of your country uh -huh. and then surrounded by this hub of innovation. Right, right. So at this point, but we're trying we're trying to make a change, right? So yeah. we do a change, a positive change to the country. And our culture, the Chilean culture is is gonna stay the same, but the entrepreneurial culture is our thing we're gonna change. We don't want to change the whole country, we just sure. want to actually position ourselves and open the barriers and open the world to Chileans and to let them know that they can actually start a startup and obviously think big. Okay, what is your background? I studied journalism okay. first, yeah. and I specialize in strategic communication. Okay. So working in building this alliances, uh, communicating, and actually creating this stuff. Great. The, what a great facility. What a great program. Thank you for having Thank us. You. This is Alan Weinkrantz signing off with Carolina Rossi, the Director of Business Development for Startup Chile here in Santiago.